For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at applying non-real-time effects to your regions using the Audio Suite effects. The Audio Suite effects are accessed by clicking on Audio Suite in the menu. And the concept behind non-real-time effects is that you choose a region to affect, you apply an effect, and a brand new region is created using that effect so the computer doesn't have to render the, the effect on the fly whenever you're playing back your project. Instead, it renders it, creates a new region, and it's done. Uh, so they're good for saving processing power. They're not so good in that real-time effects allow you to tweak over time and maybe not commit to an effect uh, too soon. Now I've got a guitar uh, passage here. Take a listen. Okay, and I'll go ahead and duplicate it out so using the loop tool. Now, if I want to apply an audio suite effect to this, I select the region, audio suite, and here let's apply a little bit of reverb. Now, the audio suite plugins do have a preview option down at the bottom. But when you click it, it can sometimes take a little time for the preview to kick in. And now as it's previewing, I can change different parameters such as the input amplitude. And a different reverb algorithm. Oh, that one sounds pretty good. Now once I choose process, I want you to look at the regions that are being looped and you'll notice that the loop um, portion will go away. I choose process and now I have a brand new region and the loop is taken away because what Pro Tools did was it took all of the items selected, processed them and created a brand new region from that. So Pro Tools will use a naming convention where it will take the original source region hyphen and then it'll apply a suffix that indicates the process that was applied here using dverb. Play it back. And if I want to get back to the original, I would just go back to guitar 12 and drag that out. Oh, let's try that again. And I could loop it using the loop tool. So that allows me to mix between them if I want. Maybe not the best method um, in this case, uh, but we're going more for the functionality of the Audio Suite plugins. Another thing to note is that I could choose the selector tool to select a portion to effect. Go to Audio Suite, and here let's apply reverb again. I won't preview it this time, I'll just go ahead and choose some options to save some time. And when I choose process, you'll notice that it creates a new region just for the selected portion. Now, if I try to trim out the region, watch what happens. I'll try to trim this out because its parent region um, is the size of two bars. But I can't trim it out because it created a new region from the highlighted region and that's it. It did not affect the entire parent region when only the highlighted region was shown. So you need to be careful when you're applying these audio suite effects. They'll only apply to the areas highlighted and only the areas highlighted will create new regions. And so um, you can do some pretty cool things with these audio suite effects. You can reprocess. Here I'll take this guitar uh, reverb and choose audio suite. Let's add some EQ. I'll choose a seven band EQ. And choose preview. Wait for it to preview. I'm given an input and output signal and I could choose, let's say, to boost a little bit of the highs, give it some air, 
I can boost the mid because that's really where this is residing. Or I could do a cut. That's a really drastic cut, by the way. You wouldn't really want to do that, um, except to gain a drastic effect. And now I can boost the output since I cut it considerably. And so then I have a changed sound. And as soon as I choose process, Pro Tools will commit the changes. Now I've got guitar 7 EQA. And if I solo this, I have my changed version. And what's great is I still have the version before it. It was called Dverb. I can drag that out. And there it is. We'll solo this one. And one cool, um, easy production technique to do is to pan one to the left and one to the right. It's a bit of a cheap trick, but, you know, it works. And in this case, we're getting actually a little bit of phase cancellation. Um, but it's kind of interesting. Okay. So here I've panned the original all the way to the left. So that's essentially the basics of using the Audio Suite plugins. Again, they're good for applying a single process and moving on and being comfortable with that process staying in place. If you want the flexibility of adjusting the process or the effect over time, then you're really going to want to use an insert, um, but the drawback being that inserts use more processing power, and we'll get to that in a later movie.